Okay, what I have here is a Vantec HX4R, but it has a noisy fan. And I'm trying to figure a way how to take it apart. And that's what I wanted to share here. What I'm going to do is turn this on. And as you can hear, the thing seems to really be quite noisy. And then if I crank up the uh, speed of the fan, which is somewhere here. Here we go. You can kind of hear this thing is quite noisy and it's pretty annoying. Uh, I haven't really had it that long. Maybe, you know, probably a little over a year now, but unfortunately I have a couple of these and they're both doing the same thing, so I was trying to see if there's a way to replace the fan. So right now I'm going to just shut it off. As you can tell that's quite a noisy fan there. So what I found is if you rotate this top cover which the uh, fan is attached to, and some of them are pretty kind of stick. So I'm going to try this and see how this works. I don't know a really good way of doing this. Um, I mean, you can try with your fingers, but I haven't been able to get it to rotate. Um, I go like this and this. It's rotating, but it's not. I don't want to slip too much either. There, it just popped. There, it's loose. And there you go. That comes up. And then what you can see is there's four screws here that we'll take off. Okay, now the fan comes out just like so. And there's a two pin. I don't know if you can see right there that two pin kind of a connector there. And what you got here. See if I can focus in on this. Right about there, yeah. That's what's inside here. It's an Evercool fan. And it's a uh, EC8010HH12S, which is a, a sleeve bearing and also a, a 12 volt. So, this is the ones that are kind of noisy. And what I'm going to try to do is replace one of these. I haven't been able to find an exact match of one of these fans, but uh, I did find an EC8010M, then it's 12, and then it was a CA. And that's a little bit lower RPM. This is a 4000 RPM, that's a 3000 RPM when it has a, the letter M. You can go to Evercool and find uh, this information about the different fans on their website. So. And then the other issue I'm going to run into is it's also a uh, two wire here and the fans that I'm looking at have three wires. So what I'm going to do is it probably just peel this label off. Use a screwdriver here. There we go. And then I'm just probably going to desolder those wires and just put the two this two wire pin connector on the three pin uh, ever cool fan that I can find on either eBay or Amazon. All right. Anyway, I just wanted to share how to show how I got this fan out, and what you can replace these, but it's hard to find an exact match. Um, these are looks like some custom OEM type of fans, and you can get them maybe from China, but it's I didn't find an easy way. Maybe somebody else can find how to get a better replacement fan. That was it. I just wanted to share that and thanks for watching.